All right. Hi, Jeff, and anybody else who is following along with this. Um, all right, so I have taken your suggestion, which um, I like, and I have modified my vision receiver script up here uh, by importing time for the time.sleep function, a uh, couple of items for threading um, up there. I have uh, moved the instantiation of the image hub to before the loop. I have uh, still got it set up for pub sub. Um, I set up uh, the image queue for DQ. Um, oh yeah, and I also had to import uh, collections to do uh, DQ. Forgot about that. Um, set max length to five. I then set up um, a function called image box. That's just a cheap and dirty infinite loop uh, to receive the image. Um, and then I am appending to image queue the image. Then I'm starting that in its own thread. Then I move on to my uh, prime loop. And I wanted to put this into a try except um, setup here because if this starts before the um, images start streaming, I get the, um, I think it's an index error because it's trying to pop lift uh, something that doesn't exist. So I put a try and accept in there just so that it would sit there and wait um, for, uh, for the images to start if they hadn't started by the time the, um, the script is running. And then, uh, as you suggested, I put a, uh, a little uh, sleep time out in there. So that is what um, is functioning. So what I want to do very quickly is show um, on this screen here, drag that over, I have um, the broadcasters are running. Uh, and this is on the, uh, the Pi uh, CM3 where the eyeballs are mounted. And uh, that's working fine. I've got the, uh, the eyes just, again, running a random, scat uh, random scanning pattern. Um, so I'm going to move that back out of the way now. And I am going to go up here and I'm going to start the original um, vision receiver just so that we can verify that, yes, in fact, um, I have something happening here and it's uh, slow and horrible. Um, so I'm going to kill that very quickly before it kills everything and screws up the video. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now I'm going to start up the um, the new vision receiver um, that uses the DQ and now it starts up and we get the window and it's waiting. Um, got rid of all the errors and everything else like that but I never get an image. So I have a feeling I'm doing something wrong and just in case there's some sort of queue building back there I'm going to um, kill this again very quickly. And uh, let's review the code here a little bit. So um, I've got all of my imports in here. Uh, time, threading, collections. Those are the only things that I've added. Um, this block right here is just, it sets up the test window. That's the same as it's always been. Um, and here is, I have my image hub moved up into here. And I set up that image queue variable uh, for uh, DQ with a max length of five. I set up down here this image box uh, loop, depending uh, the image that it receives from the, the same command that was uh, down there. And this is where I have a feeling something, I have a feeling this is one of those instances where um, because I'm inside of a function, uh, the variable is not actually, it's like a local, this is a local variable now, uh, local to inside of there. And I'm not certain if that's what's going on or not. Um, but I'll, I'll mention something about that in a second. Um, this is my uh, appending the image in there. And this is my thread function. And that's uh, a construct I've used in other programs. It's worked just fine. Um, and it does seem to be running. I'm not getting an image from any of that. Um, and then again, down here, I've commented out many previous examples, including trying uh, JPEG compression and everything else. So. Um, but the current thing is a try except 
uh, on the um, next image, and if it gets it, it shows the image. If it doesn't, it just passes, and then I have a tenth of a millisecond uh, sleep on there, and I get nothing but a blank screen, black screen. So, um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to uh, call it for tonight because I had a very long day at work today, and I'm beat. Um, so I'm going to pick this up tomorrow, um, but I wanted to get this out for you tonight to let you see what uh, what I was doing with your suggestion, and um, it will probably be very obvious to you what error I'm making. I have a feeling, again, that it's because uh, somewhere, maybe somehow in this one, I am um, I'm treating a, a local variable from one location like it's available in the other, and that confuses me still. And I'm beat, and it could very well be that I'm doing something really just dumb and obvious, and I just can't see it at this point because I've just had it. So, uh, appreciate you uh, looking at this. I'll post the, uh, or I'll send the uh, the link to you in, uh, in an email. And again, I really, really appreciate um, you working with me on this. I'm, I'm hoping that our partnership in this will be uh, good for, for both of our uh, mutual learnings, understandings, and creations going forward. Thanks again. We'll talk to you soon.